In this video, let us see how to extract the tables from the PDF using Python and we are going to extract the tables in a structure format. Here you can see here we have your sample or table right, have taken the sample PDF and here it has sample tables and what we can do is we can extract the uh, tables in a nice structure format. You can see that in that output we have extracted the output in a nice structure format right. This is how we are going to extract it using the Python and we can also extract it in the JSON format as well and you can see that and here we have the PDF on the left hand side and we have the JSON on the right hand side. So let us see how to do this table extraction from the PDF using Python. Let's get started. As I said earlier, I'm going to use this sample PDF and this PDF contains some sample tables and it has 11 pages and you can see that each page contains minimum 2 pages and from this PDF, we're going to extract the tables. Let's see how to do that. So I'm going to minimize this and let's open up the Visual Studio Code now and before that, let's install all the dependencies that we need for this project. So pip install camelot. So we're gonna use a library called the camelot and the camelot-py and the specific version is the cv that is the camelot version that supports the open cv. I consider the requirement already satisfied. So let me minimize the terminal now and let's create a python file. So main.py is our python file and let's import the camelot library now. So import camelot as so import camelot and we can start the extraction now. So we extract the tables. So here what we can do is, so tables equal to camelot dot read from pdf, we consider read pdf, it has a method called read pdf and here we have to pass is a parameter. The first parameter is the file location. Since python file and the pdf file are located in the same location, I will pass the file name only, sample tables dot pdf is our file name now and after that we have to provide the pages, what page we want to extract. Here you can pass the pdf ranges as well, that is the page ranges are if you want to extract the specific page number, we can also do that. Let's see how to do that now. And for this example, I'm gonna take the page number. That is the second page number. I'm gonna take the second page now. So page is equal to two. Next, we need to pass the flavor. So flavor. So if you are having the tables in your text format, then you have to pass the stream. Or if you are having the tables in your lines format, then you have to pass the flatten. So we have two options, stream and flatten. Since the text is in the PDF, right, we're gonna use this uh, stream option. So flavor equal to stream. So that's it. So this is the code to get the tables from the PDF. Now we got the uh, table side, and uh, let's dif display the number of tables that we have extracted. So I'm gonna use a print statement now. And inside this print statement, what I'm gonna do is total tables found. This will be tables dot n. So this will give us the number of tables that we have extracted from the PDF. So now we have printed the number of tables that we have extracted, right? Let's also print the first table. So tables of 0 to index dot df. So we're gonna convert it into one data frame now. So that's it. Let's try to run this to see how we got the tables now. So let's see if we got the extracted the output correctly. You consider this is the table and you consider let me run this one more time because we have the output from the PDF run itself. You consider this is the output that we got now. We have successfully extracted the tables from the PDF and we also got the output in a nice structure format. And consider this is the table and we have extracted the table. This is the first table and if you want to extract the second table as well. So this is the second table. For some reason you skip the first table that is the this table it has extracted the second table. So tables of zero instead of doing this we can I think we can look through now. So instead of printing the first, uh, one loop one at a time you consider if you run it again you consider here we have two tables found and for some reason you skip this first table and you extract the below table and that last table so instead of doing this we can look through the tables now so let's do that now first let's get the number of tables that you got so len equal to tables that n for i in range i'm gonna pass three len inside this range so we're gonna look through how many tables we got so number of tables that is the len tables i'm gonna pass this inside the range now Let's print the tables of i dot df. Tables of i dot df. So that's it. Let's try to run this one more time. You can see that now we got the two tables. And this is the first table and this is the second table. We have extracted the two tables. So let me show you side by side. I think the output is collapsing if I uh, view it in side by side. So consider this is the two tables that we have uh, extracted successfully and it is also in the success format as well. And consider this the two tables that I was talking about. So let me clear the screen. Then what we can do is 
if you want to save this as a json format as well currently we are just displaying right if you want to save this as a json format we can also do that so i'm gonna import the json now so and let me clear this uh a few codes so i'll put equal to this will be empty dictionary then uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a key and value pass so for i comma table in enumerate so using the enumerate we're gonna enumerate on the tables it will give us the two values that is the index as well as the values the i will contain the index and table will contain the actual table so this is the syntax for i in table in enumerate so we're gonna enumerate on the tables so i'm gonna open this to the output dictionary the data we have a dictionary right we're gonna open this to the dictionary now so outputs of i'm gonna pass the key like tables of an index so tables of hyphen index i'm gonna pass the table dot df so i'm gonna what basically what i'm doing is i'm gonna pass all the tables to the dictionary along with the table number so this is what i'm doing here right and uh, that's it so we, we can simply save this as a dictionary now so i'm gonna open a file now so let's open up the file now so with open what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open the file and put the uh, output dictionary now so let's do that now so with open i'm gonna open a, a new file called the extract the tables.json and i'm gonna open this as a write mode because we want to write right that's why we have opened this as a write mode and let's also pass the encoding so the encoding will be utf8 so that is the utf8 and this is the encoding that we may use so and we're gonna open this as f so now we have opened this file right even if the file is not present it will create a new json file so i'm gonna just dump the output dictionary now so json dot dumps outputs and i'm gonna dump on the file f so dump on the file f and let's also pass the in then the in then will be two and ensure as key is equal to false so we're gonna ensure the as key is not is equal to true now this will dump the output into the dictionary and finally we can print a message like table extractor successfully so that's it so if you run this code now it will create the json file let's see if you got the json file or not so let's try to run this one more time i can see that table extractor successfully and we got the json file here you can see that uh, we got the json file in a nice format and it will put the json file in row wise that is the you can see this is one row and this is another row so let me show you the pdf along with so that you can hear it better you can see that so let's also put the visual uh, studio code on the pdf on the side by side here you can see here we have a rainfall and below that we have america asia so let me put the visual studio code on the pdf side by side now and you can see the rainfall america asia europe this is one row right and that one row is a dictionary and below that we have inches and for the other values we don't have that's why we have the empty value and this 2010 is here and below that we have the 24 hour high 15 104 that values here average 104 201 and below that 24 hour high you get the idea right you can see that how we have the table in a nice json format not only you can pass single page you can also pass multiple pages that is the one comma two so we can pass page ranges as well and if you pass the one comma two we consider now let's try to run this now we consider table extractor successfully and let's open up the json file now we consider here we have the json file and uh, yeah that's it and this time what we will do is it will extract the tables from the both pages that is the page number two and page number three and this is the tables that we have friendly two pages page number two and page number three and this is the json along with the information so let me open up the pdf now you consider this is the page number one and uh, let me scroll down i think we have passed the page number one and you consider this is the table two and here we can say table 2 for some reason it skipped the first table i don't know why but it skips the remaining tables correctly and you can say table number 2 example of something and below that we have the information in nice format right yeah so yeah table 3 that is the table 6 so yeah this is the how you extract the tables from a video in a structure format using python so this is what is really and i will continue in the next one